Today I'm going to show you four different ways that you can get Office for free. Whether you want to use the online web versions or whether you'd like to download the desktop applications, there's a way that's probably going to work for you. Hello campers and welcome back to the channel where we're keeping IT simple because life is already complicated enough. So let's head over straight to the PC and I'll show you how it works. The first way you can get access is by using the web applications and you can do that by logging into office.com. Now in order to do this you're going to need a Microsoft account and you can get a Microsoft account for free, you just need to sign up on Microsoft's website. So if you already have a Microsoft account and it's very likely that you do, if you use Hotmail or Skype or Xbox or something like that, you can sign straight into Office here. So you can come over to the sign in button and sign straight in with your Microsoft account. If you don't have an account already, you can click here to create a Microsoft account or if you'd like to buy Office, you can click get Office. But because we're talking about getting the free version, we're going to sign in using my existing Microsoft account. So now I'm signed into Office. If I come over to the left hand side here, you can see the first option in the list of applications is actually to create a new document. And I can create a new Word document, a new Excel spreadsheet or a new PowerPoint presentation. So for instance, if I click Word document here, it will open up a new window. And in a few seconds, Word will open and I can create a new document. So I can start typing and you can see that I've got many of the options here that you would see in the desktop version of Word. I can also change the ribbon style. So if I click the little arrow here on the right hand side, and this looks even more like the desktop application in Word. I'm going to switch it back to the simple ribbon. And once I've created my documents, I can then save it to my desktop. So all I need to do is click File, Save As, and I've got the option to save as a copy online or download a copy to my computer. So this will save a copy to my OneDrive. This will save a copy to my computer and I just download it like I would download any other file in the browser. And there are even options to do things like save as a PDF. So I'm going to come back to the Office homepage here. And what if I want to upload a file from my computer? There are a couple of ways that I can do that. I can either click upload and open and select the file, or I can simply drag and drop a file onto this area and it will automatically upload and open. So for instance, if I open my desktop here and I've got a file here already created and I'm just going to drop it onto the window here. And now you can see that it's uploaded into the cloud. That will take a few seconds. And now it's automatically going to open that in Word. And you can see there a little message for everybody. If you're finding this video really useful, then please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech tips like this. So I know that not everybody likes to use the online web versions of Microsoft's Office apps. But there are some unique features that you don't get in the desktop applications. For instance, here you can choose to transcribe an audio recording. Now, to be fair, this isn't available in the free version of Office. You do have to upgrade for this feature to a paid subscription, but it's something that you don't get in the desktop application. And PowerPoint, for instance, has a feature called Rehearsal Coach, which analyzes your speech and tells you how it thinks you're performing in terms of being able to keep your audience engaged. So that's a really great feature, not just for people who are creating PowerPoint presentations, but also maybe for people like me who are creators on YouTube. <music> Now, the other way that you can get access to Office in a similar way to on the web is using the Windows 10 Office app. And the experience is very similar, but there are a couple of advantages. Now, to open the app, you just come down to the search bar, type Office, and we can see their Office app in the list of results. So I'm just going to click that there. 
Now, basically the experience is the same. So what you see here, again, if I click create, I can open a, a blank document, I can open something in Word, maybe create a new document or open something that's in my list of recent documents. But the advantage that this has, and there are not many advantages, but there are some, is that I can come down to the taskbar here and if I open the jump list, I can access any of my recent documents and I can also create a new document for instance. So it's a little bit more integrated with Windows if you decide to use the Office app, but it's still an online experience and you need an internet connection to use it. But if you're a teacher or a student or another member of staff at a qualifying educational establishment, so one that's registered with Microsoft, you can get Office for free. Now you need to head over to Microsoft's website and the Office 365 education page. I'll put a link into the description below. And all you need to do is enter your school email address. So for instance here, I could enter argo at harvard.edu and let's click there, get started. Now it's gonna ask me, am I a student or am I a teacher? So argo is a student. And it's saying, unfortunately, it can't find Argo's account. Argo is my dog. He, he runs the Argo Kibble Company. And he told me that he was studying for a degree at Harvard. Clearly he was lying. So unfortunately, I can't use this method of getting Office for free. But if you do have access via the education program, you can access office.com on the web. You can get access to one terabyte or more of OneDrive storage, and you should be able to download the Office apps for desktop if you want to install them. If you do get access to Office and you have permission to install and download the apps, all you need to do is click Install Office on the Office homepage, and here you have the option to download Outlook, PowerPoint, Word, Excel, etc., and install them on your PC or your Mac. Now the final way that you might be able to get hold of the desktop applications is something that I can't demonstrate to you because it only works in certain regions, but it's using a program called Microsoft Rewards. Now this works with Microsoft search engine Bing, and basically it works by giving you points whenever you search for something using Bing. Now you need to be signed up for this program, you need to have a Microsoft account, and you need to be registered with the Bing program. So again, I'll put the link into the description below. And once you're signed in, you can just come to the Microsoft Rewards page and click sign up for free. And unfortunately, because I'm in the Czech Republic, I'm not able to use Microsoft Rewards. But if you're in one of the regions that's shown on the screen now, you'll be able to use Microsoft Rewards and collect points. Now, once you've collected points, what this allows you to do is use those points to redeem gift cards at various different stores that are in your region. So if you're in the US, for instance, I know that you can use gift cards at Walmart and Target. And if you save up enough points for gift cards, then there's no reason why you can't use those gift cards to buy Microsoft Office from those stores. If you're not in the US, then there should be other stores in your region that are offering Microsoft Office, and you can use the gift cards to get hold of a license and install the desktop versions of Word, PowerPoint, and all the rest of it that comes with the Microsoft Office apps. So there are the four different ways that you can get hold of Microsoft Office for free. I think that for most people, the online web versions are more than good enough. Of course, there are some really advanced features in those apps that are not available that you can only get in the desktop versions. And again, there are some features in the Office web apps that you don't get in the desktop versions. So it's a little bit of swings and roundabouts. But nevertheless, give the Office apps a go. They're actually much better than you might think. If you found today's video useful, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see similar content, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But before I go today, there are a couple of other videos on the screen that you might also find useful. But that's it from me today, and I'll see you next time.